So welcome back to the channel guys If you guys are new here and new to this lock journey Then subscribe down below We are back, we are back from Ireland Back in London right now And we can do as many videos as possible Damn I've missed YouTube man I think it's been about two weeks right now Huh, I'm getting withdrawal symptoms, man. But to start this off, we are on our one month now to two year journey, I think. Two year journey. That's what we're heading to right now. We're two months in <clears throat> so far. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys saying that you want to know what products I'm using and what products I'm using to maintain my hair right now. It's all been the same. So I'm literally going to introduce that to you guys for all you guys that are starting off your journey right now and wondering what products to use to grow your hair and everything. Because listen, my hair be growing, boy. It be growing really, really fast. My hair retention is good and my locks are really, really strong. And that's what I want for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you my little range. Nothing's promoted, so yeah, don't worry about the brands, don't look too much at the brands. Um, just focus on the actual product and the ingredients and try to find that out in your local beauty supply store or local shop, you feel me? So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first product I'm introducing to you guys that I use on a daily basis to moisturize my hair is rose water. Now rose water, you can grab it up in any kind of like beauty supply store, even in the regular kind of like um, shopping, shopping centers or whatever it is like that, or shopping malls, what do you call them? Um, Walmarts and stuff like that. Um, you can grab it literally anywhere because you can use it in all type of forms. There's literally a rose petal extracts put in distilled water. Now it has a ton of benefits, ton of benefits, especially for its, for its price as well. It's about two, it's about two pounds for this um, bottle, which is about maybe three to four dollars. Um, so it's not too expensive, um, but I still think it's cheap, really. Um, doesn't matter what brand you get, as long as it kind of has the rose petal extracts in it, then you're good to go. Now, rose water has a ton of benefits. You've got vitamin A, B3, um, E and C in it. All these things are gonna help your hair growth. Um, it controls your excess oil production and it also reduces dandruff. So if you've got um, a lot of dandruff and you're dealing with a lot of scalp issues, then definitely be using rose water as a way to kind of control that and keep that at bay, you feel me? That's the first product. On to the second one, let's go. Okay, so the next product I'm introducing to you guys is literally vitamin E oil hopefully it focuses for you guys now vitamin E is literally proven there's lots of studies on it to improve blood circulation to your scalp to improve hair growth so literally this is the only oil technically that should be touching your scalp you feel me if you really want that strong hair growth this is actually a research product vitamin E has a lot of ant um, um, antioxidants for your body so it's just literally good all around so I apply that literally daily as well hair growth I don't want no hair loss listen no hair loss around here you feel me so that's the main thing Thing. Just like black castor oil, which I'm about to introduce next, vitamin E is for your hair, you feel me? So always have it, always have it. So moving on to the next product is the black castor oil. Hopefully it focuses on, I'm using the Jamaican and mango lime black castor oil. Now this one has a mixture of different oils, so it's not as dark as it usually is. If you want to go for the most rawest form of, um, of castor oil, then it's going to be literally really, really black and it's going to be really, really thick. Like the consistency is going to be really, really thick. So be careful when you're using it to your, on your locks because it can cause buildup. It is a thick oil. So be careful, try to dilute it, try to heat it up, try to do something to it, you feel me? Um, but right now I'm using the Jamaican um, a Mango Online Black Castor Oil. I've been using this kind of solution for a long time, really. So I did my research on black castor oil and it does not help with growth of your hair. So no matter what anyone says, it does not help with the growth of your hair. But what Jamaican, um, I mean, what black castor oil does is literally protect your hair from breakage. It lubricates your hair so that it does not like have that kind of like brittleness to it. It's a really, really good moisturizer in that sense, but it does not help grow your hair, but it will help your hair from breakage. And if you're trying to grow your locks and you're trying to grow your hair in general, you don't want breakage, you understand? You want your hair to retain as much as possible because that's how you show hair length, by retaining hair, you understand? Not by growing hair, everyone grows hair at the same kind of speed, but you do it by retaining moisturization. So the next product that I'm introducing is literally the bad boy tea tree oil, you for me? This is the one, this is the one and only that you need. I hope it will re reset for you guys, okay. Tea tree oil now that listen, this is the one, especially when you're in that one month to three months and you're not you're not really trying to touch your hair too much, you're not really trying to wash it too much. This is the one for you. This is a anti micro um bacteria, um antifungal, um helps your hair with the um dandruff, literally helps your hair with literally everything. Um this whole product is it's for 
protecting your hair and healing your hair. That's what tea tree oil is. You should be using it throughout your journey. You should, you should never really kind of lay off it. If you're dealing with itchiness, you're dealing with all this irritation, it's an anti-inflammatory as well. So it's gonna, it's gonna soothe your scalp. You can even get the peppermint as well. A lot of people use the peppermint oil that has the same properties too. So I, I sometimes I interchange, I put like peppermint and tea tree oil together just to have that cooling effect and soothingness in my hair. Cause I remember, especially when I used to get those retwists in the early stages, my hair was itching like crazy. And this bad boy right here was stopping it. Okay, so the next um, set of products I'm going to introduce to you now, they're not really products, they're literally tools. Now, spray bottle. I feel like everyone that's on their lock journey or even on your hair journey should invest in a spray bottle. You know what I normally do? I'm gonna show you guys what I do with a spray bottle. You literally open up right here, show you what I do with my little concoction. I'm gonna literally show you what I do with these spray bottles. So I've got the spray bottle right there, take off the cap. Then I'm gonna put my rose water in there. Hopefully I don't spill this in front of you guys. A decent amount. I normally maintain maintain the amount of rose water I use so I don't waste it. So this would normally this amount that I put in the bottle would normally last me about maybe two to three days. Um, so I put this amount in there. Then I get my vitamin C. I mean vitamin E. My bad. Vitamin E oil. Literally squeeze some in there. Do about three drops in there. Get my tea tree. Another three drops in there. Then I get my castor oil. Now this is not this is not the, the regular castor oil, so it's not that thick. So you know, I don't need to watch watch my my usage in it. You understand? Pour a bit in that, and literally grab the bottle. Shake that, shake that up. Shake, 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 shake. And boom, that's the, that's the solution that I use to moisturize my hair every morning, every night. And literally, it works wonders, you feel me? You're wondering, oh, does it really kind of spray out and um, the oil and the water? Yep, it sprays, it sprays everything out fine. Um, don't use, obviously, too much water. You want to get the oils in there, too. And yeah, that's the concoction right there. Try not to use it with cold water. You want the oils to be in a lukewarm environment so they're, so they're um, not hard or tough, you feel me? The solution that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, literally, just spray my hair. Make sure I get inside the, the roots, you feel me? When I tell you this stuff smells so nice, bro. Your hair's gonna be bro, it's gonna be feeling and smelling nice. Like, make sure I get the camera. You feel me? Something light, you feel me? But Literally, that's how I moisturize my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, then if I want to really, really, really deep moisturize, say after I, I shampoo and wash my hair, then I get these small bottles like that with the same concoction in it as well. Now uh, these ones, they're little squirty bottles. They're gonna squirt a small amount of oil. So you can literally open up your hairs like that and literally just be squirting in little, little areas and massage the oil in after. Obviously don't put too much oil in one area, but try get all the um, areas of your head and that's how you can get your hair like really, really oiled up as well then last but not least in this whole maintenance video is these little soft bristle brushes now they're very soft now my hair isn't locked so if you're in your if you're in your say within your one year don't bother about it but once you start getting into that two year range um one year and a half three years four years that when your when your locks are really matured get that soft bristle brush to brush out any lint you feel me i'm gonna be doing a video on trying to get my lint out and under control so i can let you guys know more on that in the future um with that video as well but right now i've got a soft bristle brush any type of um lint that i see that i'm able to manageable to get out i get my um i get that location and i literally brush it out in between i do not do this i do not brush my whole locks please we're not trying to do that <laughs> But I get that little area so I can brush out the lint, you feel me? So yeah, that's literally all I use. That's all the products that I use throughout my one month to one year and I'm still using those products now. I try to keep it very, very simple because I don't want build up, simple oils, one, one or two or one or three, um, and some rose water and that's it, literally. There's times where I might just use one oil just because I want to focus on that one specific area. Say I've got a lot of irritation, I will just use a vitamin E just to kind of pat, pat down that area and see how it works over the next couple of days. Um, but most of the time I'm literally using all free oil so just keep my hair at bay keeping it smelling nice when i tell you my hair be smelling nice <laughs> so um if you guys enjoyed this little video then definitely subscribe down below i'm gonna be dropping so many more dimes um that i found across my luck journey and yeah can't wait to drop them man retwist coming in like the next two weeks 
So I'm gonna do like a whole little ACV rinse and a retwist. I'm going obviously the two strand twist has to come back. It has to come back. Um, what else do I have planned? If you're on my channel and you're watching this and you miss my vlogs, miss my Uber stuff, that's coming um, too as well. I've got a video upcoming with my bike as well. I'm gonna show you guys that um, as well. Me trying to fix it, trying to fix it. Um, and I've got a ton of more vlogs as well in London that I need to do. So I'm gonna definitely have that. But for now, these are the products. This is the video. And if you have more questions, let me know down below i'm going to literally answer all of them um i haven't tried most things out there um i've just been keeping it real simple with my hair if you've got any suggestions that i could actually add to this um concoction that i make then let me know down below i'll be glad to literally listen out so yeah i'm gonna catch you guys later in the next video